Did you watch my original video on how we can create tasks in to do by clicking on a message in Teams and now you want to share it out with people? Well, I've got the improvement video for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddatt and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. A few days ago, I released a video which posted onto YouTube on how you could use Power Automate to create tasks in To Do automatically by right-clicking on a, a post or a chat message or a channel message in Teams. So lots and lots of interest on that. Uh, Lots of people came back and asked questions, uh, two questions. One was, how can I share this out amongst my organization? And the other one was, you mentioned that you could create a link back to the original Teams post, but you didn't tell us how to do it. So please, can you tell us how to do it? So we've done a bit of playing uh, and actually, it's really easy to be able to share it out to everybody. There's just a minor tweak you need to make to the original setup that we've got. Um, and I'll also show you how you can create the link uh, so it make it easy for people to get back. So let's just dive in here then. So here I am in office.com, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go to Power Automate. So a reminder, if you don't have it, it's in all apps down the bottom, then you click Power Automate. Okay, and you should find the Power Automate flow that you set up originally in My Flows. So here's my one here, Create Task in To Do. So I'm going to edit it uh, first of all. So we've got the first one here, which is for a selected message and the adaptive card. Then we've got this Add a To Do. Now, when I originally set this up, I picked tasks from the drop down list there. Um, and when I tested it out, it didn't work for other people because they were trying to write into my tasks. But actually, if you delete that out and you just leave it blank, then it will go into the default task list. So uh, make sure you backspace that completely. And then here to add that link, I'm going to go to the body content um, and uh, I'm type view in Teams. Let's put a capital T on Teams. And then we can highlight it and click the link there. Uh, and that will help us to set up a link. And I thought I would be able to click in link target and then go to link to message and, and you can see what's actually happened is there, it's just overwritten it so it didn't quite behave the way i wanted it to so if you type view in teams and you highlight that again and go up to the link and i'm just going to type hash or something like that into that link target just so it makes the html code for me then uh, i'm going to click on that little tag symbol there um, and don't worry you only have to do this once when you're setting it up um, but here if you just dust off your html uh, where it says ahref equals quotes and then you click in link to message make sure that's between those double quotes there um, and that will now format that link so now if i click save and then i'm going to go back to my teams just to test to make sure that that works okay just a moment for it to load up so let's go back to our teams and i'm going to go to the finance manager oh there's nothing there government and compliance governance and compliance there we go so uh tray research financial accounting plan so i'm going to go on to more actions and there's our options so i'm going to do review accounting plan and stick a due date in there perfect and hit submit okay now if i go back to office.com uh, and go to to do okay oh, that's it then hopefully that will now have appeared in my to-do list because that's the default task list. There we go, review accounting plan, it's in there. So great, um, and we can see there that we've got view in Teams link. And I'm gonna do this on the web app because uh, this is in a uh, my test tenant for me. But uh, if I click on that, then it's taken me right to the post. So actually, if there was a document there or a conversation around that, that makes it much easier for me to get the context around that task item. Let's close a load of these. So now how about sharing it out? So I'm gonna go press that back arrow and you can see here that I'm the owner and it's not shared with anybody. So we've got a couple of different ways to share people, owners or run only uh, users. So we want to share this as run only users. Um, and here you can type users or groups. So I can say, I'm gonna share this with everyone in Contoso Finance, but also we can just type a person in there. So let's share this with Adele. There we go, and 
that's all done and we click so then underneath there we can see there's a couple of options and this is around kind of the connection that you use so it's either that we ask the user to provide their credentials or that it runs under my credentials so we need to provide it under their credentials because uh, otherwise they'll be writing into my task list and i don't want that so we've shared that out now if i go and switch over to be adele what will happen is adele will receive an email saying that this has been shared with her and she needs to uh, click get button to be able to kind of um, to activate it. So she clicks get button. Um, now this is the first time she's used Power Automate so she just needs to click getting started. So if you are sharing this out, it's probably worth recognizing that most people won't have gone into Power Automate. So make sure you see that prompt. And then all she needs to do is click continue and then that will authenticate it using her credentials and link it to her teams and to her to do. Um, and close all of that down and now if we go into Adele's team okay and I'm going to go into general there we go need more help with visual merchandising yes I do I need to do on that so more actions there's create task in to do and here we can just say attend session on merchandising and add in the due date there we go, 5th of September and now if we pop into Adele's to do, so there you go, office.com, all apps, and go to Adele's to do, then it should appear in her task. Just give it a moment just to pop, there it is, attend session on merchandising. So that is how easy it is. You can set it up once, share it with everybody as these run only users. Make sure that you do share it as run only because otherwise they get access to your credentials. Um, and just, you can pop in people or groups there um, and it's really easy to get started. Thanks for your time.